I am Marty. Can you hear me okay? Because I'm trying my new camera tonight, so I'm not sure if everything's working. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Okay, you can hear me. Good. Thank you. Woo! I got a new camera, and this is the first time I'm using it, and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm far away. Well, at least you'll be able to see the whole table when I go down, right? Not going to be up close like before, but at least the area is bigger. So, how's everybody doing? Everybody okay? We got five on. Say hello when you come on. Tell us you're here and where you're from. And if it's rainy and cold there, because it's rainy and cold here. It's my new camera, so. Hopefully, we'll be able to see all of the table now, not just that narrow portion. Okay, we got five on. So, how's everybody doing? It's too loud and fuzzy. Okay. Let me see if we can adjust that. I'm sorry about that. Oh, uh, this tells this <laughs> something tells me this isn't going to be a good night. Okay, I lowered it some. Does that help any? How's that? Still crazy? Still loud? How about now? Is that any better? Any better now? Or am I still loud? Much better? Thank you, Terry. Sorry, you're going to have to put up with it tonight because I have no idea how to work this darn thing. Hi, Jean. How are you? Okay. We're going to give it a shot. Oh, now what? There. I can't handle these newfangled things. Well, tonight we're going to make a real simple patriotic wreath. A lot of times when people do this, they take a foam uh, wreath base, and this one's 12 inches, and they usually use bandanas. But I don't, I like the bandana look, but if it's real damp outside, Turn it down just a little, a little more. Okay. Sorry, guys, just kind of bear with me till I get the right. Um... How's that? Is that any better? Any better? If it's too loud at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Turn down your volume because I I don't I'm not sure I know what I'm doing. 
Is that any better? Now, for some reason, it's focusing on me. Better? Better. Great. All right. Anyhow, what I was saying is sometimes the, they use the bandanas and tie them off the side to make a patriotic wreath. We're not going to do that. I've cut up some ribbons because I like that these have the wire in it and it's going to stay stiffer longer. Um, the bandanas, the bandanas, when they get damp, they tend to flop and get really um, limp looking. So they don't hold their shape like the wire ribbon will. So, what I'm going to do, I'm having trouble seeing everybody's comments now. Oh, please make this work. Sometimes technology isn't. Thank you, Leslie. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to see if we can move you down some so you can see what I'm doing down here on the table. How's that? Got a good view. It keeps giving me these messages that the sound is going to sound awful for people watching. And I even upgraded my um, internet service today, hoping that we wouldn't have any issues. All right, we're going to get started. I've got two colors. I've got the red with the stripes, and I've got the navy blue. And evidently this is on a delay too, so... Go figure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the red ones. And all I'm doing is folding them in half on, on the wreath base. And then taking a small pipe cleaner, similar in color, and tying it off underneath. See? And then I can do this. I can also twist this around so both sides are standing up. Now see, again, if you were using the bandana, it would it would collapse on you as it gets damper out. So we want it to stay stiff and pretty. And these ribbons, I cut them at 18 inches. They are um, two and a half wide. When you jump on, let us know you're here. Because I'm not getting comments on the screen or the phone. Yay! <laughs> here I thought I was going to surprise you guys and have it all set up. That I'd be able to give you a better view tonight. And I got crazy sound and lousy comments. Not your comments aren't lousy, I just can't see them. Hey Kay, how are you? We're working with a 12 inch foam wreath base that I already covered with um, some wire ribbon. Just trying to show you guys that this is something you all can do, it's very simple. It's just squishing it. Hey, from Sh Shrewsbury. Hi, Ann. Sorry I've been MIA for a while, but as most of you know, we had a premature litter born, and I've been tube feeding the little one. Now, because this one underneath is opposite, I'm just going to twist it so the right side shows up. We're going to kind of make a mini flag here. So how's everybody's day going so far? It is rainy and cold here. Turn it around so the right side is up. And I am going to go uh, live again this week. 
it might be Wednesday afternoon um, but I'm going to try and do it on YouTube this time so in the comments at the top of this um, live I added my um, YouTube it's not really a method um, is Horace the dog's name or is that your name? I'm twisting pipe cleaners of the same color to hold it in place. You only need a small piece of it. Um, we're just twisting it and wrapping it around the um, foam wreath base. It's actually one they do with bandanas. But like I said, I like the stiffness of the wire ribbon, so... And how's your line of vision? Isn't it better now? You got the whole table, you can see. Better than that little rectangle from my phone. Is the clarity good? Like, give me some feedback here because I can't see a whole lot. See, I'm just twisting the pipe cleaner to the back. And then I'm turning the ribbon so the bottom one is right side up and tucking oops I cleaner let go so as I was saying go ahead and if you haven't signed up on my YouTube channel you're going to want to do that um, because I'm going to go live Monday nights here and then um, another day during the week in the afternoon I'll go live from YouTube. So if you want to catch it, um, go on and like my YouTube channel. It's Robin's Re3 now. Um, you will find it at the top of the comments. It was actually just a green foam base, um, 12 inch base. It's round. I figured it would take me too much time to cover it, so I thought I'd cover it um, before I came on, so I wouldn't be using up a lot of time doing something really repetitious in my book. So, I'm going to push these down some. I think with these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I cut eleven of the striped, and then I cut, I think, nine of the navy blue. And I have some stars to put on it. I may use this as the hanger, and I'm not, I don't know, I may um, go ahead and put that in between the blue. I went ahead and wrapped it, Donna, and then I used a floral pin. Do you know these? Have you seen these floral pins? Let's see if I can show you what one looks like. They just stick right in the in the frame in the foam. So I actually put one in and then wrapped it all around and then added a second one to hold it at the end. Again, if I don't see your comments, keep asking until I answer you. Because I'm not seeing anything on the computer. I'm only seeing it on the, on the phone. Thanks, Jane, for getting started. Hi, Lynn. How are you? We're using a 12 inch wreath base. We've got 11 of the striped um, ribbon, two and a half wide, cut at 18 inches. Like I said, they've used this method with bandanas, but I like the firmness of the wire ribbon. Hang it in there, Lynn. 
Welcome from Nova Scotia, Donna. I'm in Pennsylvania, northern central Pennsylvania. It's a little town called Hughesville. I also cut the pipe cleaners really small because you only need a little one to do this. It's the wrong side. Now I kind of um I kind of threw the eleven on there, but I may need more because I only want to do like a third of it with the navy. Because as you know, the flag isn't all red and white. And thank you all who have been praying for little Miracle, the little puppy. Um, she's she's awesome. Who would have thought? Being seven days premature that she would be doing as well as she is. In fact, the vet pretty much told me she didn't think she had a chance. So she's beaten all the odds. She's up to 6.4 ounces today. She's eating on her own, um, able to nurse, which is awesome. And I, again, can't thank everybody enough. She is a Yorkie. She's a chocolate Yorkie, Donna. She's such a sweetheart. I, I breed Yorkies. I've been doing it since 2007. And this is the first time that I had a premature litter. Scared the bejeebies out of me, let me tell you. And then that she's so premature that she had to be tube fed. And that's not fun. Up every three hours, tube feeding a baby. But those that know me know I will do whatever it takes until there's no more I can do. So she was laying there nursing the other day and wagging her tail. I started her I started the biosensory program on her because I feel she's really going to need that extra boost. So I had 11 cut, now I just cut three more. But this is one that's so easy, anybody can do it because all you're doing is wrapping and, and twisting. Get these out of the way. And the sound is still good and the picture is still good from what you're seeing. Well, hi, Bobby. Welcome. We're doing a, a patriotic wreath. We have a, a, a round 12-inch foam uh, wreath base here. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Donna. It's not for the faint of heart, is it? This uh, breeding. It's its really difficult. I don't think people realize. Oh, great. Thanks, Lynn. Thank you, Bobby. No, you can't see my face because I lowered it down so you have a good view of the table. <laughs> And I won't be shooting the uh, puppies at the end, but I will try and do a small um, video and post it tonight. Because I guess um, some people aren't really interested in the Yorkies. They just want to see the wreath. So, Bobby's one of my 
older puppy parents, new puppy parent. <laughs> no, they don't, do they, Donna? I know Bobby does. She knows what it's like. I mean, she knows what I do. She's been one of my puppy parents for a while now. And she just came back for a second. Little Miss uh, Pink, Miss Lulu. All right, so I think, I think I pretty much have that the way I want it. I basically wanted to leave an area over here for the blue. Now, this is what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be putting the blue ones on next, but what do you think it will look like if in between I add that? Can you see that? Like one blue, maybe I should start with this here. Put one here, and then do a blue, and then do another one of these, or, Yes, it's just um, the two and a half inch ribbon, wire ribbon, cut at 18 inches and dovetailed. I do have um, little stars to glue on here. So I could do just the blue and use this as the tie to hold it up. Or I can mix this in. But if I mix this in, on oh, the white stars will still look okay on it. What you think? Anybody have any suggestions? I could do a few with the blue and see. Let's just do a few with the blue. And maybe we'll just use that as our hanger to hang it. Your comment kind of came and went there. I know, um, I know I screen all my parents, potential puppy parents. I have an um, application they have to fill out. There have been people I've turned away for one reason or another. Um, you know, I have to make sure that that little one is going to be well taken care of. Okay, everybody likes the blue with the stars. All right, we'll do that. And like I said, this is all in my head, so we may have to add more. I did cut nine of the blue, but we may need more. I covered the bottom with the blue because it helped. Hi, Sandra from Indiana, welcome. I probably could have covered the white or the red part with red and then the blue part with the blue, but it is what it is. You can see I'm just spreading them out. And again, the see the the Hi Jana from Texas. The wire really holds it. Um, straight out, which I like. Yes. <laughs> I had somebody get really mad at me because I I told them they had to purchase a, a, a tube of Nutristat. And they didn't want to do it. And with those little ones, you know they need that, that boost. Hello, Joyce from Florida. Welcome. Again, we're just pinching and um, taking the pipe cleaner. You can cut it really small. Actually, you can do it like in fours. I just wanted to make something that everybody could do at home. You didn't need the skill of 
of uh, working with the mesh. Just something a little different. And I may need more stars, but I, I did what I had, so um, it's a start. I'll add more before I list it. They're actual pipe cleaners. The wired ones. Exactly, Donna. <laughs> and see where I live, there's a lot of... Um, Amish and Mennonite breeders and you know I can't compete with their prices and I don't try because I do I feel more than they would do so I'm liking this I think it's going to look good And then I'll leave a little room here and use this as the hanger to hang it up. And like I said, afterwards I'll put a little um, video of the puppies on. We've got the one litter who is, oh my gosh, three weeks old today. Yes. Yes, they are <laughs> right in my dining room <laughs> and in my living room. <laughs> and I started putting some baby toys in there today, and I know, um, I know their ears are opening because they're starting to look up. And they don't want to be in the whelping box because I think it's too hot. So I turned down the one. I turned off the one heater and turn down the other um, and put a real comfy bed in there for them. So we may just have enough of this. And I'm, I'm thinking one more, one more or two more because I can push this aside for the hanger. And I could take some off if I don't feel it looks right either. Again, very easy to do that. I have another um, patriotic wreath I'm going to be doing probably Wednesday afternoon. Um, I think I'm going to take one of these off because I think I want to go just a little more with the blue. So um, go ahead and follow the top of the, the comments. I have the link to my um, YouTube channel because I want to go ahead there and do one there a week. So if you want to be notified, um, just go there and hit that little bell to be notified. Maybe I should have used black pipe cleaners. I can always go back and fix them. Got to plug in my glue pot. So I better do that so we can glue these stars on. My new uh, Shore Bonder glue pot. It is awesome. Can y'all see it? Hello, Carol from Michigan. Welcome. 
Just to recap, we used a 12 inch um, foam wreath base, covered it with um, some wire ribbon, the whole base of it, and now we are putting the blue field, we're finishing up, we're putting the blue field of the flag on. And once my glue pot warms up there, we're going to put some stars around here. I actually have five. And I put a little glitter on them. Let's see. I'm going to have to turn it around here just to kind of see where I want to go with these. And again, I'll, I'll probably get some more. Just trying to see where they'll look the best. How's that look so far? Can y'all see it okay? And then I'll take this piece that I have here and I'll use this as my hanger. So I may end up taking this one off too. I think it. Uh, I think it would look better too if I um, purchased a few more stars. Maybe like one here, one here, one there. So I'll get some more stars. Try and get an idea how long I want this. I'm going to fold it under. Um, I think the stars were from Michael or AC Moore. I think that's where I got them. I'll see what I'll do is I'll put this on the back here and I'll actually dip um, a few of these florist pins into the hot glue and pierce the, the wreath with that, with the glue. Oh, it's still not heated up. I think that's, that's long enough. Or what I want it for. I do have some other white stars. They're a little poofy. Maybe I could put those on too. Okay, these, Christina, Christine, they're 18 inches. And it's the two and a half um, inch wide wired ribbon. The strips of ribbon are, are 18 inches. I took the blue and I wrapped the whole wreath base just because I, I it, the wreath base is green, so I didn't want the green showing through um, the ties. And like I said, people have made these with the bandanas, but to me, the bandanas don't stay. Yes, thank you, Carol. It's almost hot. <laughs> I knew I forgot something tonight. Let me see if the other stars will um, look good, too. I don't know that I want to mix them all, but I could end up just using these, too. I don't want to add, I don't know, what do you guys think? There is, there is red and blue stars in the, uh, in this ribbon. I don't know, I kind of like just the white stars, though. Yeah, 
Yes, you could, Carol. You could use felt. That would work fine. See, I put a little glue on the tips because I want to make sure this goes in and stays in. If I can get it through. <laughs> oh, geez. There we go. I did just see somebody's comment and it disappeared already. Come on. Maybe just with the double thickness it's not going to work. Well, we could glue it and then go back and hammer it in. else fails, break out the big scissors. There we go. I just want it to stay secure. Could even probably get those foam stars too. The stars made out of foam. There we go. Okay, so there's my hanger. I don't know. What's your opinion? Stay away from the other colored stars. Yes, you could do material. And actually they make it out of um, bandanas. I've seen it made with bandanas. But my reason for using the wired ribbon was because you know how um, material gets kind of floppy when it gets damp and stuff? At least with the wire in the ribbon, it's all going to stay fluffed out. And that's what I was trying to achieve. I don't know, maybe maybe the stars are better just on the form. What's your opinion? Stars on the form itself or out here? Okay, that makes sense. Or do we do spread out more? Like that. Out. Or put this one over here. See, I think I need more stars. Or I'll just do that one there and this one here. Okay, consensus is everybody likes them spread out. See, I don't, I don't think the red ones look good on there. Just the white ones, I think, is the way to go. We've got the red and blue in the strap. If um, Okay, I'll turn it around and I'll start gluing. <laughs> the 
the glue is now set, so it should stick. And like I said, I can get more. Yeah, I think the white is, is definitely... And there goes half the glitter. I even put glitter on them. Because I thought there was glitter in this ribbon. So, thank you, Ann. <clears throat> and the the um the stars are holding up nice on the uh, wired ribbon too. Now, do you think I need to go get more wooden stars? Now I can move my camera up. So you, there, can you see it now? Thank you. Thank you. And see how super easy it was. Just. Cutting and wrapping and tying down. I could even put a little sign in here if I wanted, but uh, I think I like it just simple. Just plain and simple. Okay. Got you, Sue. Sorry I didn't see you on, hun. And again, I appreciate all your support these last few days. Um, it's been heart-wrenching. I've seen some make little um, flowers out of burlap and put some flowers on it, but I, I think I just like this plain and simple. I even had uh, little firecrackers made, um, but I'm going to save those for something else because they just don't look right on this wreath. No, I think you're right. I think it's fine just the way it is. Thank you, Ann. I can move the camera up a little now. Close your eyes, Marty. Don't get dizzy. There. It's my new camera, and I'm trying to um, learn it, so... But let's see, we can hold it up now, possibly. Now I'll have to put the glasses back on to see the comments. <laughs> I didn't tie, I just stretched them around like this, stretched it around, and then just tied, uh, the, cinched it with a pipe cleaner. Yes, two and a half inches wide, 18 inches long. I had, the, I even had out this originally, the polka dot ribbon, but I didn't think that looked right. Um, I'm going to say probably around 40, 42 is what I would probably put it on Etsy for. Um, my, my, um, camping wreath that you, that most of you watch me make, I hadn't, had a chance to put it on Etsy and it already sold. <laughs> Bobby's mom bought it and she just absolutely loves it. So, well, thank you, Terry. Again, this is something any one of you can do. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we have twelve of this at eighteen inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine at eighteen inches. 
So you can add those up and do the math. And then um, I took, see I buy all my ribbon from my wholesaler and I buy it in the, in the 50 yard. Um, and by my wholesaler, well this would be 35 cents a yard for the navy. And I used this to cover the whole wreath underneath because the wreath base was green. So you could, if you wanted, you could spray the wreath base, you know. Um, I do have some white wreath bases that are, are higher. They're a little bit wider and they're higher and they have more of a square um, they have angles to it. I can show you those. Because I thought about using one of those. These are what we use for the boxwood wreaths. See? They have like an edge to it on the top and on the bottom. This one was rounder. So I thought this was probably going to accept the the sides better than if than it if I used this one. I thought the um, the edges might cause a problem, so I went with this. Now I don't know if any of you've been watching any of the videos. There's uh, a wreath out there now called the pancake method. And the pancake method was developed by Millie Mel, and Millie Mel, and it's so you can um, put the wreath between your storm door and your home, your house door, so it fits better. It was a 12 inch Carol. So my next one I'm going to do. I have another patriotic wreath I'm doing with the pull through method, with burlap. Press the edges down on the other wreath base, this one, or not sure I understand. Oh, okay. See, it's just, it's just, I find the middle and I just, um, you know, twist the tie. That's all I've done. Now I'll go back and I'll clean up these ties and and you know trim them down some yep it was a 12 inch wreath frame foam frame i bought um i don't even know what they go for um the lady i got this one from she was selling all her florals and this was just thrown in there so she had some kind of mesh ribbon on it and uh I removed it. Oh, thank you. That's so thoughtful of you. I'm, I'm starting to regroup. I'm starting to get some more sleep again now that I don't have to get up every three hours to feed that little puppy. <laughs> um, so, well, if nobody has any more questions, I think that's it for tonight. Like I said, go to the top of the comments. Um, if you want to follow me on live, the link is in there. I'll be going um, probably Wednesday afternoon this week and doing the pull through of Patriotic with some florals. I have a sign um, from Personalize It by Pam. She's on Etsy. She does some really nice metal signs. I got this one from her a while back. Now I'm looking to see if the... Not sure what you mean by how. But this one says Liberty on it. The You mean the pull-through method? Okay. What you do with a pull-through method... You're using a wire wire base. OK. 
okay so this is your wire base 14 inch wire base and you're actually putting the um, burlap under here and just pulling it up it's folded in half and you're as you're pulling it you're pushing it too until you get it all stuffed in there it usually takes about two rows or two rolls of burlap to do one I actually have the wreath base already done um, because again it is time consuming so and because now I've got um, six little puppies to take care of I'm trying to um, trim the the lives down a little yes the burlap really should be done outside or with a mask so what I do is I make them ahead of time outside when the weather's not blowing around yes Carol it's a 14 inch mm -hmm. I get those from the Dollar Tree they're a dollar a piece the wire wire um, frame yes two rolls yep and I think that that burlap is usually five and a half inches wide I'm in Hughesville Pennsylvania you can go online Dollar Tree does sell the wire wreath frames by the box um, I think there's 24 in a box and a lot of people make their own wreath bases for the mesh and such using the pipe cleaners yes because you don't want to breathe in those fibers so that's why I do it outside and that's why I won't do it inside um, so that's why I made it ahead of time again I'll kind of show you um, I have some fabric that I can trim it up and yes the five and a half inch wide I have some fabric I can show you how to do it with fabric in fact a lot of people are doing it with fabric they're just cutting it in the five and a half inch strips and pulling it through but if you have it needs to be something that it's the same color on both sides so you don't have it showing the opposite side of the fabric okay sure and and seriously if you're you know you're doing this and you have a question don't hesitate to send me a, a message I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions it's always nice to have somebody that you can talk to about it I'm home all day so it's just what holds it in is just the thickness the the pulling it up and stuffing it forward it's just it it makes it so tight in there I can't move um, I don't think I have I did have one that I made but I don't think it's down here I think it's upstairs but again I'll, I'll show you um, like I said it's probably going to be Wednesday afternoon um, so go ahead and and look for it on YouTube um, and then you can watch it over and over again so you can see what you know how it's done because basically okay here we got this I can just use this all right and this is a little bit wider but this will kind of give you an idea how it's done so basically what you want to do is you want to take the two edges okay and boy I bet you this would make a pretty one you could use tool how about that so basically you're working off the middle two rings not the outer ones just the middle two okay so you're you're actually just pulling up both sides of it all right so you're actually holding the two edges in your hand and as you're pulling it up you're stuffing it forward no I just bought those stars they were wooden stars I got like at AC Moore 
Um, they have foam stars, wooden stars. But see, you're actually just pulling up the two edges and shoving it forward. So you're just holding the two edges and pushing it forward. See? Push forward. That's why it's called the pull-through method, because you're pulling it up through, but you're pushing it off to the side. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get this so stuffed, okay, that it holds it all in place. You don't have to um, attach this in any way. Yes. So that's why you want something that's solid in color, or if it is fabric, that it has the same color on both sides. Okay, so you're just pulling it up, the two edges. You're folding it and pulling it up, and then pushing it that way. And then when you can't shove any more in there, then you just pick up on this side of this little, can you see it? Maybe it'd be better if I put something of color under here. Because see, you have these little metal, little metal middle sections all the way around. So when you get to that, you just, when this is stuffed and you can't stuff it anymore, then you pull up the next piece and you start stuffing it all in this way, okay, on this side. So what happens is you end up getting this so stuffed you can't, uh, you can't force any more in there. And that's what holds it in place. I don't even use glue when I do it. And, and I'm sure if you went to YouTube and you typed in um, pull-through method, wreath pull-through method, there's probably a lot of people in there that can show you how, it, how it's done too. Okay. So basically it's just the two edges and pull it and stuff it over. It's just it's just repetitive. And and it looks so pretty. They do this um at Christmas time for the um yes, Tari. Uh for the candy cane, the metal candy cane wreath bases. And Dollar Tree just came out with a cross one too. Carol, they're Yorkie puppies, and there's only two left. The two boys. Okay. But basically, and then what you do is you just fluff it out. With the burlap, it's thicker. I mean, I, I wouldn't do it with tool. Because <laughs> it, you know... And, and the burlap is not see-through either, so it's going to cover up the wreath base so you don't even see it. But that's what we're going to do on Wednesday, okay? All right, um, I'll close everything down here. Up. I know. The little one, the little uh, chocolate Yorkie that was born premature, um, she's... She's filling out so nice. What a sweetheart. Okay, so I'll, I'll close up everything down here. I'll go ahead up. And uh, for those that want to watch a little video on the Yorkies, I'll go ahead and do a little video on the, uh, the five that are three weeks old today. And then I'll have a little um, video on, on Miss Miracle. And again, I appreciate all you stopping by. You know where the buttons are. Just spread the love for me if you could, since uh, Facebook is not allowing us to use those words anymore. Um, so, <laughs> I know what you meant, Maggie. <laughs> yes, Bobby, I will close up down here, and in about 10 minutes, I will um, have a live video for you of your baby and the babies okay I just want to be able to post this video to YouTube and I know a lot of people don't want to see the puppies and I don't want to get anybody upset so all right I appreciate that Carol thank you so much I'm not allowed to say that word <laughs> it's a bad word on Facebook now <laughs> so all right
I'll see you all uh, Wednesday then. And thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Melba. All right. Good night.